Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Amok, studying finally a B Pharma in Bapuji Pharmacy College, Davanagere. Today I am going to discuss about the Beer Lambert's law. Beer Lambert's law is a combination of the two laws, that is Beer's law and the Lambert's law. Both will deal with the analysis of the mixture by spectrophotometry. It mainly states when the monochromatic light is taken. Monochromatic light means we know that it is the light of the single wavelength. When monochromatic light is taken and it is passed through the solution, which is consisting up of the absorbing substances, the compound to be analyzed is added into the solution and the monochromatic light is passed. Then, decrease in the intensity of the light with the part length is directly proportional to concentration of absorbing medium and intensity of the light. If the concentration is more, more is absorbed, less is transmitted. If the concentration is less, less is absorbed, more is transmitted. By representing into the schematic diagram, for example, well, let's take a beaker. In the beaker, the starting length is 0 and the final length is L. Incident light is I0 and the final transmitted light is I. In the beaker, we are having the substance, it is added into the solution. For considering, we have to consider the smaller portion of the beaker, that is, length will be DL. And that intensident light is I0, transmitted light becomes I minus Di because the total light is I, smaller portion we have taken, smaller light is absorbed, then it becomes Di. For calculating into the transmitted light, it becomes I minus Di. Not only we have represented in the words, then as per the Beer's law, we know that. That is, when chromatic light is passed through solution of the absorbing substances, the decrease in the intensity, it is represented as decrease minus sign intensity di, intensity of light with respect to part length, that is dl. We have taken a small compartment, so we have taken as di and dl. is directly proportional to the concentration and the intensity, ci. For removing up of the proportionality, we will add the proportionality constant k. Then equation number 1, it becomes minus di by dl is equal to kci. Now forget about the one compartment, let's take the whole and soul. Then part length will become 0 to l. Intensity will become i0 is converted to the i. By rearranging the equation number 1, we will get minus di by i becomes this side, that is comes into the division sign di by i is equal to k into c into dl. We have rearranged the equation number 1. Then, integrate with the limits. That is, i0 as the lower limit and i as the upper limit. Because the starting we have to take as the lower limit and the transmitted we have to take as the upper limit. So, we have taken like this. It causes the decrease in the intensity of the light. And with respect to the length, we have to take 0 starting as the lower limit and the L, that is L as the upper limit, part length. Equation, now integrate the equation, negative sign remains outside, integrate with respect to limits I0 to I, di by I is equal to k into c constants we have to keep outside, integration constant with respect to the 0 to L, lower limit 0 and upper limit L, into dl, that integration is converted to the ln, minus negative sign, ln of lower limit is i0, i is equal to k into c, ln, l here becomes d, integration of dl is l, lower limit is 0 and upper limit is l. In the third step, negative sign outside, upper limit minus lower limit, ln, that rule is there, ln upper limit minus ln lower limit, ln upper limit means ln i minus lower limit means ln i0 is equal to k into c and to l. In the fourth step, negative sign, ln a minus ln b, it becomes ln a divided by ln b. That is, negative sign, ln i divided by i0. Here we have to see that ln i minus ln i0 has become ln i divided by ln i0 is equal to kcl. In the next step, following up of the negative sign, ln i by i0 becomes i0 by i. Because we have changed the sign, equation becomes numerator goes to denominator and denominator goes to numerator. 
is equal to kcl lan constant we know lan is converted into the log here for conversion up of the lan into log we have to multiply it by the 2.303 2.303 into log i not by i is equal to kcl rearrange the equation log i not by i is equal to k divided by 2.303 into cl since we know log i not by i is equal to a we are taking here constant a means log i not by i then equation becomes a is equal to k divided by 2.303 it is taken into the small a into cl and we have explained the term